In this section of videos, I'm going to be teaching you about GUIs in Roblox, everything you need to know about how they work. So, firstly, you should know that GUIs, graphical user interfaces, they show things on the screen for the player. So, anything that you see in the game, in a Roblox game that is 2D on the screen, so like text or um, images, or, you know, those... Uh, the UI, the user interface, that's made up of GUI elements. So there's lots of different GUI elements, things like text labels, text buttons, frames, image labels, and they all work together to create the interface that you see in most Roblox games. Well, all Roblox games will have GUIs. Now, there are things called core GUIs, and they differ from normal GUIs because core GUIs the core GUI is made by Roblox, so it's things like the chat window, the top bar, the leaderboard, uh, all of these things are made by Roblox, they come in every single game, so we call them the core GUI, and you can see in core GUI here, if I was to delete everything in the core GUI, they would just all go away, um, apart from the chat but uh, that's somewhere else obviously. And the core GUI by the way, don't worry about that, uh, you only see it when the game is running and we never really touch it anyway because it's all managed by Roblox. Anyway, so all GUIs will go into the starter GUI. Now, each player in the game has their own container for GUIs because it's likely that different players in the game will have different GUIs visible at one time. So, for example, in a murder game, the murderer is going to be shown a different GUI than an innocent person to show that they're innocent. So the each player is going to have a slightly different um, folder of, of GUIs. So if we put in a starter GUI, a screen GUI and starter GUI, and I just name it test. If we actually just launch a server here so I can show you. So it may look a little bit confusing at first, but what we've got here is we've just opened up a Roblox game and on the we've got two players in the game. On the left we've got player one, on the right we've got player two. So each player will have their own uh, collection of GUIs so that if we wanted to change GUI for a certain player, we could do that. So when the game starts and a new player enters the game, what happens is everything that's inside of the starter GUI gets copied and gets put into a folder inside each player called player GUI. So if we look in here in game.players and a certain player object, so player1, you can see there's a folder called player GUI. And in there we've got a couple of core GUIs as well, so things like the bubble chat. But we've, we've also got our test GUI. So this is a clone of the one in starter GUI. So if I had created a GUI. So just got a GUI here um, and actually I need to just do that. So I've restarted the um, test place and I've edited the test GUI in starter GUI. So this test GUI has now been cloned into the player GUI for player one. It's also been done for player two as well. So every player in the game will have their own copy of the GUI from starter GUI. So if we wanted to change what this GUI said midway through the game, well, unfortunately, you can't just go into starter GUI, change that GUI that was in there originally, and expect that it's going to update for all players. So if I change the text of the text button to um, buy, you see nothing happens because it's only changed the, the GUI that's stored in the starter GUI, but we know that GUIs only appear on a player's screen when we're actually in a running game if it's in the player GUI. So we have to update every player's GUI manually. So we'd have to go uh, into their player GUI and change it there. And now in the player GUI, if we change it to say buy, you can see it changes. So this GUI in player GUI and this GUI in starter GUI, they are 
two completely different things. You can't just update one and think that it's going to change for all players, because it won't. It will only change in that starter GUI. But no GUIs are rendered in a running game when they're inside a starter GUI. Because when a player joins the game or they reset, just like their character resets, the GUIs get pulled out of starter GUI, and basically the game copies them and places them into the player GUI. You can also see that because I've changed player 1's, uh, the text of the text button for player one's player GUI, what's happened is it stayed the same for player two. And that's because, as I said earlier, each player is going to have their own player GUI. So if you change one player's player GUI, then it will then be different to someone else's. If we wanted to change player two's, then we'd have to go in and change theirs as well. And now we can both, we have the basically the same GUI now because it's uh, got the same text. But the test GUI in player 2's player GUI is a completely different object to the test GUI in player 1's. Even though they've got the same names and everything, completely different things. So we've got three different GUIs here. We've got one in starter GUI, and that's the that's the one that's copied out and put into each player's starter GUI, uh, into each player's player GUI when they reset. So we've got that one there. We've also got this one in player 1 and this one in player 2. So three different GUIs. Now, also, you can only change your own player GUI. So if we're looking at player one over here, and let's pretend that we are player one, if we went in and tried to change player two's player GUI, you can see we can't see it. And we're unable to access player two's player GUI, we're unable to, you know, change it. That's because players in the game can't change other people's GUIs. Because if somebody decided to be naughty and exploit the game and wanted to change someone's GUI, we, we can't allow that. So Roblox prevents you from changing anybody else's player GUI. Only that player can change it. Okay? So again, if we are now, if we're on player two side on the right, because we're playing as player two over here, we can access player two's player GUI. But again, we can't access player one's. From player two we can only access player one from over here on the left because on the left we've what well, we've got two completely different instances of roblox running pretend that on each side of the screen you've got two players playing roblox okay obviously they wouldn't have access to the explorer or property or properties or things like that but we're in roblox studio so we can emulate this but what i'm trying to say is that you can't change any other players guis because you only have access to your own player GUI. And you'd only have access to that if you were exploiting anyway, but that's a completely different story. What you need to know is that GUIs, they get copied out of the starter GUI when a player joins the game or respawns. What happens is the GUIs, everything inside starter GUI, so all the children will get copied and put into the player's player GUI. Now, the player GUI is um, automatically created. We don't have to make it in a script or anything. It's it's managed by a Roblox core script, so all done for us in the background. So every time a player joins or resets, the entire contents of starter GUI are copied out of the starter GUI into the player GUI of that player. Okay, so every single player in the game will have their own player GUI. This means that the things that are shown on a player's screen can be different to another player's, and we can change certain players' player GUIs. Now, only that player can change their own player GUI, but we can also change uh, certain players' GUIs, or all players in the game, we can change all of their GUIs from a server script. Now, that's probably what we will look at in the next video. So if you've enjoyed this one, please do leave it a like. Uh, let me know what else you want to know about GUIs. I'm going to be cover them, covering them in the next set of videos. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Roblox scripting videos. And I'll leave a thumbnail to the next video on the screen. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.